Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our fifth video in Python GUI development with PyQt5. In this video, we're going to talk about layout management in PyQt5. So when you're going to develop complex applications, you need to have a good layout management. There are different layouts that you can use in PyQt5. Uh, for example, we have VBox layout, we have Edgebox layout, uh, we have Grid layout. Now, uh, particularly in this video, we are uh, we are going to talk about VBox layout. So now, uh, using VBox layout, you can align your widgets vertically. Uh, so this is my codes from the previous uh, lesson. It's just a window, a simple window, and you can see. I don't want to repeat the codes. Uh, so this is uh, these are my imports, and this is a class window, the geometry title window icon. So first of all, we need to import QVBox layout, and it's a class that we are going to use for aligning our widgets uh, vertically. Uh, also, we are going to create some push buttons because we want to add these push buttons in the uh, layout, in the vertical box layout. So we can create a QV box layout object, and after that, we need to create some uh, Q push buttons in here. So let me just say click one and also btn2 q push button uh, this is uh, click two and btn3 q push button this is click four let me just copy uh, this once more because i need just four buttons uh this is my btn4 so this is click three and click for. Uh, now after creating of the widgets, now we need to add these push buttons into vertical box layout or VBox layout. So we can, uh, so we, we can, if I run this and uh, uh, so nothing, let me just give itself uh, because we are in the class. Okay, now if I run this, you can see now all buttons are stacked. Now you can see we have click uh, four button in here, uh, but you can uh, position this. For example, you can add the geometry, or you can just say, for example, uh, we can say btn one dot move, and we can uh, make it, for example, two hundred and two hundred. And now if I run this. You can see that we have a button in here now if I minimize this you can see that my button my click one button you know you can see that it's hiding uh, so for this we need to use layouts and uh, let me remove this and we don't need to this self when we're going to use layouts Okay, now we need to just say vbox dot add widget. We want to add our btn one, and we are going to just copy this vbox. We need to add btn two, uh, btn three, and also btn four. Now, if I run this, you will see uh, that we are not receiving any button because uh, when you're going to create layouts, you need to set the layout for the main window. So for example, in here we have our class window. Now we need to set the layout for the window class. For this, we're going to just use self dot set layout. So the set layout is related to Q widget. And we are going to add our V box in here. Now if I run this, so now we can see we have our four buttons. And now if I make it smaller, you can see that uh, we are receiving a good result. And these buttons are uh, aligned horizontal, uh, vertically. And you can see that these are my four buttons. Now, this was using code. Uh, if you want to use Qt Designer, now let me just show you that how you can do this using uh, Qt Designer. So, first of all, you need to open your terminal, and in the terminal, you need to 
run uh, write pyqt5 uh, the So now this is our Qt designer and we are going to choose widget. Uh, so create. Uh, now the first thing we need, we need to change the title of this to uh, VBox Layout. Uh, now first we need to add some push buttons in here uh, so you can see that we have vertical layout grid layout we have horizontal layout we have form layout now uh, you can do it like this you can add uh, push buttons between the uh, in the vertical layout or you can just uh, add your push buttons in here for example button one uh, button two and this is uh, three this is four and let me just change this to click one click two click three okay now you can choose all of these buttons and right click you can choose layout and we want to make it vertically also you need to set layout for the window so you can click on the window right click and from here also we want vertically now you can make it like this so now I'm going to save this you can just save it and I'm going to save it in the desktop uh, I want to name it uh, vboxlayout.ui okay now we need to just load our UI so you can convert that to Python file but I'm going to just load my UI file alright guys now this is my simple new file uh, I have called it load vbox.py and it's just a simple window now in here the first thing we need we need to uh, from from PyQt5 we are going to import UIC so using UIC module we can load our UI so we can just say UIC dot load UI and in here you need to add your uh, file name so uh, first of all you need to copy your file in your working directory so now I'm going to just paste my vbox layout UI in here and now you can see that this is my uh, UI file so you can even do you can change from here so let me just first load the UI and we can just load the UI and also self now let's run this okay now you can see that these are my four buttons in the vbox layout now the best thing about loading UI is that you can change your UI file for example uh, if you want to change the click one to for example click change and now if I run this you will see that I am receiving a click change in here so thank you guys I will add the source code in the video description uh, 